Hey, remember way back when USC and UCLA were the anchor schools of the Pac-12 conference? Way back when, as in two months ago? Well, spoiler alert, they're still here for now. So grab a surfboard, slather on some SPF, and let's crash Lincoln Riley's $17 million beach house for our 2022 Pac-12 Escape from Los Angeles preview. Something strange happened in the Las Vegas desert last December. The Pac-12 South finally won the conference championship game. When Utah upset Oregon inside the world's largest Roomba, I mean for real, look at Elite Stadium. It marked only the second time in 11 years that the South Division vacuumed up the conference title. According to most preseason polls, the Utes will be the favorites to defend that title, carried there tucked into the arm of running back Tavian Thomas. But Thomas is far from the only offensive superstar to be found west of the Rockies, just as Utah is far from being the only team with a shot at hoisting that funky silver V-shaped trophy this December. USC hired Lincoln Riley, and he arrived with the keys to his legendary offensive machine, and also the keys to the transfer portal. The Trojans landed QB Caleb Williams and wide receiver Mario Williams, whom Riley brought with him from Norman. Not to mention Bolitnikoff award winner Jordan Addison, Oregon's top tailback Travis Dye, Stanford's best running back Austin Jones, and wideout Brendan Rice, son of Jerry Rice. Over in Westwood, Chip Kelly's fifth UCLA team is finally brewing up the kind of offense we expect from the godfather of crazy offenses. Dorian Thompson Robinson is one of America's best dual threat quarterbacks. Then again, you could say the same about Cameron Rising at Utah, Chance Nolan at Oregon State, and keep an eye on Cameron Ward, a transfer to Washington State. Last season, he nearly won the Walter Payton Award, also known as the FCS Heisman. But don't start thinking that the Pac-12 doesn't know how to play defense. There are dudes all over this conference. Washington and Cal are always tough to score on, and 2022 will be no different. The Huskies rank first in the nation in fewest passing yards allowed. Cal gets quarterback Eater Brett Johnson back from injury. And Oregon linebacker Noah Sewell is not only the early favorite for defensive player of the year, he's a sleeper for top NFL draft pick. In fact, of the Pac-12's top-ranked NFL prospects, more than half are from the defensive side of the field. From corners Clark Phillips and Kyle Ubele Kelly of Utah and Stanford, to linebackers Justin Flo and Merlin Robertson of Oregon and Arizona State. As the Pac-12 fights to make its first college football playoff appearance in six years, we should know what their chances are very early in the season. Heck, we might know by the end of week three. The season opens with Oregon versus Georgia in Atlanta, with new Ducks head coach Dan Lanning facing the team with whom he just won a national title in January as defensive coordinator. Then Utah visits Florida in the, hey, didn't Urban Meyer used to coach both of us bowl? Week two brings us Mississippi State at Arizona and a massive early matchup between USC and Stanford. Week three sees Cal at Notre Dame, BYU at Oregon, and Washington versus Michigan State in a game that might end up like Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed when they simultaneously knock each other out. But when it comes to unbeatable big games, how about the big game? On November 19th, Cal will host Stanford in the 125th meeting of a rivalry that if it isn't one of the greatest in college football, it's certainly one of the zaniest. The Bears and Cardinal first met in 1892 a matchup organized by Stanford undergrad, football team student manager, and future U.S. president, Herbert Hoover. Since 1933, the winner of the big game has been awarded with a big trophy, the Stanford Axe. And of course, who can forget the play? In 1982, when Cal's Kevin Mullen crashed into Stanford trombone player Gary Tyrell for the most improbable game-winning touchdown of all time. We got a score here. This is Garner. My goodness, Rogers is still alive. Stanford players on the field. Oh, what's going on here? Markers down. This is incredible. Moan is going to score. 40 years later, 
Moen and Tyrell are still linked. Heck, they've even become great friends. Just not when the big game is being played. Because this is college football, and that's how big games work, even when it comes to friendships. So who will win the big games in the Pac-12 this fall? And will those big games finally lead to a return to the biggest games, the college football playoff? As Chris Berman says, that's why they play the games. And that's why we'll be watching, even on the East Coast, with the coffee pot brewing for some over-caffeinated Pac-12 after dark. Don't forget to watch all of the games during Xfinity Kickoff Week on ESPN and ABC.